Hi everyone, welcome. Hi everyone, welcome to Diaper Dude's book launch. And this is Chris Bagula, the author, and he's talking about his second book. It's how to survive the first two years. Of first two years. Being, first two years of being a parent. Yes. But you, but you said it's the ultimate, death, right? Yes, because okay. it's the. Why did you title it that? You know what? Because it's an ultimate experience having a dad be a part of it. You know, ultimate you want experience. to have like dads are really like go all in. You oh, know, it's about the ultimate. It's like going going in. Full so. force. Yes. Yeah. So what made this experience different from your first book? Well, first it was different timing of picking up from birth to year two, which is okay. the first one let off from, um, you know, just pregnancy. But there's much more stories that I reflect on from how I was raised, okay. relating it to how I parent my So you incorporated some of your childhood memories. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yes. Did you yes. find that a cathartic, uh, a good celebration, or it was a little bit of both? You know what? It, it was cathartic, and it was actually interesting because um, a lot of what I thought I never wanted to be as a parent, which would be re, uh, uh, reflecting on what my parents were like, okay. Because I thought, no, I'm gonna be totally different. I find that I actually end up doing the same things, you know, and it's not so bad. So a little bit so, of history repeating exactly, itself, exactly. A little bit, but it's okay. in a good way, and I give my parents kudos now for doing what they do because. Uh, okay. <laughs> what was a resonating story in the book that you feel was from your childhood? You know, um, this is. I think I, I feel like I've been talking about the same story all day today, but it's okay. a different platform. But and um, then I, I've never heard the exactly, story. Exactly. So it's, it's, so first it's time totally for going me. new. <laughs> but I think that I, I can recall my dad being very involved um, as a parent growing up, and he was very successful as a businessman. But I never felt like it sacrificed his role as a parent. Oh. And I think maybe that's why I was able to incorporate being a parent and having a business. Okay. Which this happens to be involved in the parenting dynamic. Um, diaper view. But uh, I think that was a great role model, and I hope that my children can learn something from me in a positive way that they can take on in their adult life and okay. reflect upon and, and be excited and be able yeah. to come to that realization that parents aren't so bad after all. <laughs> and, and we as parents were children as well. As well. Yeah. I know you're necessarily more of a working dad. I'm a stay-at-home right. dad. Do you feel that the dynamics are very similar in terms of just being an involved dad for both types of dads? Yeah, I think that, you know, it's not based or logged by hours. It's about the commitment and the amount of, of, of your commitment to being involved. You know, and so, and it's, yeah, it's, it's not only about, you know, you have to be there at home all the time. Yeah. You know, because you and need that balance and that dynamic as well. So. Yes. And I find that being a stay-at-home dad, I always have to figure out how am I going to navigate it to be involved even if I have to have time for myself. Right. I consider like being here for you time for myself right. even though I'm promoting and supporting my dad. But, and it's amazing because you love yeah. what you do. I do. So oh, yeah. it gives you an opportunity to have fun um, while you're still working and that's what I envision my business being. Yeah. Um, do you feel this is a little bit of a storytelling too? With oh my the book? God. Or Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Okay. And, and it's great because you can pick it up at any point, any chapter and learn something from it and it doesn't have to be sequential. It could be, you know, open up chapter one and go to the end of the book, you know, and you'll still feel like you've got, you know, you, you haven't lost your place. And was there something challenging for you with this book that you can remember? Not sharing all the stories that my kids would then kill me. Okay, so you had to keep <laughs> some yes, I had to hold keep back. something, hold yes, back. Okay, yeah, yeah. you always have to hold back certain things, exactly, right? It's right. Just, it keeps you can't it. give it all away. No, you got to no. keep them wanting more. Because at least what you end up with like four chapters, four books for right, one, right. one series. Exactly. <laughs> so. Everyone, you know that he has his second book coming out, Chris Pagula. He also is the person for Diaper Dude. Very, very lovely bags that are universal for either men or women. And then the new line that you just put on your brand as well is called... True Dude? No, no, no. Oh. The, other, the other bag. Oh, Sabrina Soto. Sabrina Soto yes. as well. Yes. I love those because you have that convertible one that kind of pops into any bag, right? Yes, yes. That's a really Diaper bag organizer. Yeah, so yes. you're, you're a little bit of what... Oh, did you consider yourself a mogul? <laughs> well, you know, I, I mean, I feel like we did create a category that didn't exist uh, for... 14 years ago when yes. we started the company, so it's amazing to have a category on websites that says diaper bags for dads. I mean, that's a huge uh, evolvement that uh, yeah. you know uh, we've seen, so I'm excited to be part of that. And then now you're witnessing your children, one of them just went to what, junior prom, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, so how was that, seeing that to when you remember these few years that you're writing about in your book? It's crazy because he is the age I met his mother. 
so it's all coming back. It's crazy. It feels like another world. So your wife is your high school sweetheart? Uh, college. College? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I went to college a little early. A little early? Okay. Yes, yeah. But, um, but we met in college, and uh, that's where we were friends, dated, not dated, whatever. But uh, yeah. Did so. you feel that tug of like, oh my gosh? Memories cataloging all uh, that just going through your mind at that moment. You know, yes, but excited for his life and what he has in his future um, because that awesome. seems like a whole other world. And it was I, an amazing I, time. And I'm gonna I have to reach out to you because my son is about to be a teenager and I'm like right. dreading that. Right. I, I well, really that, hopefully that'll be the next book. <laughs> that'll <fingers> be crossed. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is one advice that you remember or can offer that you would also impart to your audience from this book? You know, I think the biggest thing is to, we're, we're all gonna mess up, we're all gonna, um, you know, there's challenges in parenting that we can never master, yes. and experience is an awesome teacher, and to it just is. learn from the experience, learn from failure, and, and, and be okay with that, and realize that you don't have to change who you are when you become a parent, you're just enhanced by the experience with your children. So when you are open to that concept, um, I think you'll feel that your parenting becomes deeper yeah. and more exciting yeah. and happier. Awesome. Well, thank you for that last tidbit. So you guys can check out his book, Diaper Dude. It's launching today. Yes. So where can they find it for anyone that's watching us? If you are in Los Angeles, you must visit Diesel Bookstores. They yes. Are throughout Los Angeles and California. Amazing. Or online at dieselbookstores.com. Awesome. And then also check out Diaper Dude. That's his yes. line of bags Diaper and other Dude. brands that he's associated with. Again, I'm Joelle of Just Obviously Enjoying Life at joelleleoge.com. Chris Pagula, Diaper Dude, Diaper Dude Book. <laughs> and we're here. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. Bye, buddy. Thanks, <laughs> Joelle. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. <laughs>